right, in this video, we're going to talk a little bit about the advanced consumption capabilities within Warehouse Insight. So what we're going to do is we're going to start with a production order where we're producing a number of serial numbers and we want to record specific component serial numbers to those finished goods serial numbers. So this happens quite often within Business Central where, you know, you will want to produce multiple serial numbers like let's use an example of maybe you're building computers and each computer has a serial number and each hard drive that you place within that computer needs a serial number as well well you want to track that specific hard drive serial number to the specific finished good serial number standard business central doesn't allow you to do that you can see all the consumed serial numbers and you can see all the output serial numbers but there's no link between those two so warehouse insight offers that capability so what we're going to do is we're going to start off here with uh, the release production orders we're going to go in and have a look at one that uh, has already been created here and i just did it for this uh, touring bicycle thing and that has this line down here at the bottom for the bike and, and we're producing six of these bikes and these bikes happen to be serialized they're they're item tracked and of course uh, on there we have a number of components and what i've done is i've just set up this front wheel to also require a serial number as well so we're going to build these six bikes and we're going to want to know exactly which serial number for the front wheel went with, with which uh, finished good bike. And again, standard business central doesn't allow you to do that. I could record six serial numbers for the wheels here, but we don't know which finished good serial number those actually went on. Okay, so the first thing we do for this <clears throat> to enable this to work is we go in and on the line itself, we, we have to predefine the serial numbers for the finished goods. So I'll just actually come in here and we're going to go and assign the serial numbers and we're going to create six serial numbers. So now we know which serial numbers we're going to be producing on this production. And that's important because we're going to need to, you know, access these serial numbers when we indicate, uh, you know, what components that we're using. All right, so I'm just going to grab this, the serial number 28, I'll copy and paste that. So I've defined that. Now, with this, if we open up Warehouse Insight really quick here, and I go into the consumption app, and you'll see in just a sec here, here's the production order that I that I created. If I open that up, you'll see the bill of materials, and you'll notice the quantity here is six. Well, that's the quantity on my production order, right? So we've, we've got a, a quantity of six. If I start scanning consumption here and everything else, it's not gonna work any differently and what standard business central does so what i need to do is i need to consume against a specific finished good serial number and the way i do that is i scan a barcode to indicate which finished good serial number i'm working on so what you're going to need is you're going to need to report that generates a barcode for each serial number that you're producing and what happens is when you're about to produce that finished good you scan the serial number of the finished good you're producing and then anything you consume will be applied to that finished good serial number. So how does that work? Well, I'm just gonna do a little ad hoc one here, but you would have a, a report like your existing traveler report, or maybe you want labels on the finished goods or whatever. And what you will have is uh, something with a format similar to this, right? So that percent %P indicates it's a production order. There's my production order number, my production order line number that we need. And then I'm gonna specify the serial number that we're doing. now. Again, I'm just doing this in the in the simple barcode generation utility here, just to generate a sort of an ad hoc barcode. But you would have a report on the production order that produces all of the barcodes you need with all of the serial numbers you need to scan. So when I do this, it's going to generate my my little barcode for me. And this is, by the way, the the barcode generator application that's free. And then on the handheld, I'm just going to scan it off the screen. But if I open this up and I scan this now. As soon as I can get the scanning off the screen here, there we go. When I scan that, it opens up that same production order, but you'll notice we're at a quantity of one. And that's because we're consuming against this specific serial number. Okay, so simple as that. Now what I would do is I would just, you know, scan the items that I'm consuming onto this. Now, there's some options here. If you have VIN's mandatory and if it's not directed pick and all sorts of things, you might have to scan the VIN code first. But in this case, I'm simply gonna scan the item that I'm, I'm consuming. So I'm going to do that here. So I scan the item and it comes up and, and allows me to validate the serial number and everything else. I'm just going to hit OK. You don't have to have that pop up if you don't want. And that's it. It now tells me I've used one of these guys, these 1100s, and it knows the serial number of that. Now what that's done within Business Central, let's uh, just minimize that. 
and we go in there and we can see uh, on this, oops, um, in the consumption entries, let's type the whole thing out. So within the consumption entries, it's actually logged that consumption. So here's the one I was doing. There's the, my finished goods serial number. There's the consumed serial number. So when I actually post this from the handheld or I can post it from within Business Central, it's going to create that mapping between those two serial numbers. So now I know exactly which production order, line number, serial number was, was produced and what serial numbers went into that, right? So it's as simple as that. If I go back into the handheld and post, and actually I haven't tested posting, so it should post. If I go ahead and post this, oh yeah, I've disabled it. So that is a good example. That's a setting on the device configuration within Warehouse Insight that prevents me from posting. Normally, if you turn that on, you'll hide the post menu as well, but I've prevented people from posting the consumption from the handheld. So somebody would go into Business Central, they do this transfer consumption to move that to the uh, consumption journal. But basically what'll happen is that'll go off onto the consumption journal where I can post this and we've got that mapping. And then all the history for that goes into a table called component usage that you can hook up to the item ledger entry or whatever if you like. But generally speaking, you can come into the component usage and there's uh, 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 you can generate a report off this and this will give you all your production orders, uh, finished goods serial numbers and all your consumed serial numbers will be listed here in this archive for all your traceability requirements. So that's really the you know, uh, advanced consumption capability for Warehouse Insight. One last thing I will mention, if you want to do this manually outside of, of the scanners, you can also manually go into that consumption journal and you'll notice over here, you can enter you know, serial numbers and lot numbers and all that kind of stuff directly on the consumption journal and do the same thing as what I did on the scanner. I can put my finished good serial number here, the consumed serial number, and it'll create that mapping for me. Hey, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel for more great content.